Kendall Davis. Man, and you guys are currently tuned in to Urban Solution Radio at KUSR 999.8, where we play the best in the Northwest and beyond. That's what we do. That's what we do. And we also want to make sure you guys know our DJ Raw. DJ Raw 1 is in the building here. Before that we got the tunes. <laughs> We got a lot of stuff coming up so we can function in this uh in this whole new world. There's no environment yeah, that we got going on people. here. Yeah, yes. I need to do some things and some stuff and just wasn't able to, so I had to wait for some stuff to come in. You know me, I like to go to the store, test drive it. Can't do that. Anymore. Right, hey, so, yeah. if you need me to go and lay some holy hands on somebody with you, man, let yeah, me know. We, we could go do that. I don't know. You know, we, we'll talk about that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> how, was your, how was your week? My week, man. Ooh, Wednesday. I love hump day Wednesday. You know, my week has been pretty, pretty good. You know, I've been, I've been busy, 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 busy. Yeah, you know, I bet. So, you know, I'm talking about busy to the point. If I had hair, I would have pulled it out by now. Oh man. You know, and I would have <laughs> pulled it out by now. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I, I, like, I like being busy. You know what I'm saying? That means things are happening. That means things. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Good things are. I like good things. Good, good things. things. A lot of good things are happening. You know what I'm <laughs> cool. We got the comedy show going on. We got we got a lot of good things happening. That is gonna be uh, this Memorial Day. You know, we got some uh, phenomenal lineup. Oh all women, gosh. all women hailing from all different parts of the nation. Oh, it's about to be dope. Oh, uh, it's gonna be dope, man. I heard we got Tawana B gonna be in the building with the COVID. Right, comedy. Man, we got uh, Reese Samuels. We got Reese. We got uh. Althea Newman, baby, man, and many, many more. Oh, yeah, we got a lot, a lot more. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't wait for you guys to see this. I'm about to be cracking up. If you saw what we did the first time, man, you haven't seen nothing. These ladies is about to be on fire. So tap in this Memorial Day for the COVID comedy cookout, and we are gonna get it in. Brought to you by On Point Urban Solutions and Superman Productions. Tap in. Heck yeah, man. I'm about to get some girl power up in this joint. It's about to be rocking. I'm right, checking it out. Right. You know, get my stitches freaking yeah, busted. It's, it's, it's been busy, busy, busy. So, man, that's been, that's been my way. What, what about you? What you? How you been? <laughs> it is. It's been it's always been. A lot. You just feel like you got like you know your, when your to do list got a to do list, and that's got compartments too. Right. <laughs> it's kind of like, yeah, you, yeah, that's busy. Yeah. Uh, it's chaos. It's busy. Chaos. Well, at least you got through it. Well, that's good. But it looks crazy. <laughs> <laughs> because you know the unexpected things happen. You know, right, if you have right. kids, you know, right. and you're trying to study or you're doing something, they're like, "Mommy, what is this?" <laughs> and you're like, "Are you serious right now?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, my, uh, my kids will call me and my uh, daddy, 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 watch this. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, cool. 
That's, yeah, that's awesome, baby. Yeah, they, want to, they want you to watch about 10 times yeah, be, after that. Do, do it again, girl. Do it again. <laughs> So that and then homeschooling because I have a five year old that's been a little crazy too has not been the easiest because she doesn't like to stay focused so sometimes Ooh. that's like pulling your hair yeah, out yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she'll start off you know doing some work and next thing I know she's singing the Frozen theme song <laughs> and it's a whole world It's not a bad business. It's a good business, but at the same time, it's like, man, I, I want to. If I, I can't rest, I can't sleep. I got mm-hmm. I'm getting phone calls. I'm taking meetings. Let's go. Organizing different things. Yeah, and it's a it's a good thing. And I was telling somebody, I was like, it's almost one of those things. Like, uh, watch. Be careful what you pray for. Yeah. Because I I, mm-hmm. pray, I, pray, I pray to be in this position. Now well, you there. And I'm in it. I'm with it. So I can't <laughs> complain about. My hair being pulled out. Yeah, I can dig it. That's what it is. That's awesome. That's awesome. And me, well, mine's just not really my hair being pulled out. I don't know. I might look crazy too, so I don't know if mine's is up on the screen. But mine's is this really crazy looking Barbie and her hair is just like on end. (laughs) And in my meme, it was kind of long, so I had to write it down because there's no way I was going to remember it. So I'm going to be real with y'all about that. So it's me trying to work from home. Homeschool the kids, not leave the house, break up 2K fights, do five puzzles, emotionally connect with every family member, give grace to every human, feed all my people, have clean laundry, <laughs> disinfect everything, get jiggy with the hubs, <laughs> not touch my face, <laughs> ration out the TP, and not lose my sh- your mouth. <laughs> I lose your shut your mouth. That's how I felt last right. week going to this week. Was, yeah, it was my Wednesday to Wednesday was about like that. Cute, yeah, cute, cute pit. Oh, you know, early in the morning, you know, <laughs> at the long day. Yeah, yeah. That's how I feel. Like, yeah, I mean, like I said, you got through it. Cheers, cheers to you. you cheers, man. Got through it, and it's been a crazy week, but we here. We here, and we here with y'all on the Wednesday show, and man, you guys, we got a great show for you today. Yeah, man, I've, been, I've been waiting on this one. I was, I was just saying, like, right outside of here, I was like, man, I've been waiting on this interview mm-hmm. for a long time, because I, um, I chopped it up with my guy, and... Um, and we and we chop it up all the time, but we we never actually got a chance to sit down so I could really get, get into his mind. You know what I'm saying, like that. So this is this is gonna be good. Right, right. Well, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. And oh, do you guys not know who we have in the building today? And if you don't know, man, you about to find out. You about to find out that we got the one and only. Hey, the one and only. Money making prints, baby. Money making prints in the building, you guys. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome, welcome, welcome hey, him in here. Hey. You know how we do it, Urban Salute Corona Corona. Oh man, guys, I'm gonna transfer mics here. I was to make a little move is what I was telling so let's make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man. And he is here finally and we get the interview finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yes, yes. Money yes. man friends. <laughs> yeah, we ain't got a chance to politic with one of my fellas, man. Right. What's happening, man? Right, what's up with you, boss? Man, I'm great. How you feeling? Man, you uh, blessed. You a busy man, brother. Yeah, man, I'm definitely a busy man. 
right. <laughs> I mean, this yeah, dude, I'm, yeah. I be seeing this dude everywhere. Like, I, it don't matter what time of day. Like, it, like if I don't see him in person, I see him on Facebook mm-hmm. or something. This man is always working. That's real. Yeah. yeah. yeah Money making friends, man. This dude got yeah. that hustle, that yeah. hustle yeah. spirit. Yeah. Four feet him this. You hear me? That's, That's every time you got to four feet him. There it is. You, so your digestive system can get used to it. <laughs> hey, well, look, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to put that, man. I like that. That was dope. Grind it, grind it down that part. For sure, man. I'm going to use that. I like that. For real, you know, man. And definitely, man, I've been waiting to get you here as well, too, man. Just listen. I've listened to your music for quite right. some time. I've been checking you out, watching you all over social media. You burning it up out there. Yeah, you got some yeah, hot, yeah. hot music yeah, rolling well, around. Well, I'm very appreciated to everybody that's the all the support because right. I have been getting a lot of support you feel right, right? so I gotta show much appreciation for it oh man the time yeah. got your back brother and, Ooh, they, and if you don't feel like you do <laughs> Urban Solutions got your back that's you know what I'm saying that's definitely, definitely. I appreciate 100 it. I appreciate it for sure for sure yeah. man tell us a little bit about yourself give us a glimpse into your story like where did you grow up and how was growing up for you how was mm-hmm. life for you okay yes yeah, so I grew up in Holly Park you feel me that's in the south end uh, life growing up for me, uh, when I was young, you know, I grew up around gangsters, killers, dope dealers. You feel me? My household was a hub, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, you know, and that was my upbringing. Mm-hmm. And I got, uh, I messed around and got, went and did some dumb shit, mm-hmm. and ended up in prison for 20 years. What? So, <laughs> yeah, for real. What? Yeah, 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 for real. I was an accomplice to a murder back in 94. Uh, accomplice to a murder back in 94. Accomplice meaning you don't do it, but you're, right. in, you're around the vicinity that, that, you know, with people that you came with, and you can go to prison just for being in the vicinity. I'm letting you guys know that right now. So think about your actions. Yeah. <laughs> you preaching to somebody out there. You know, exactly. you preaching. So, that's so that's what happened. I I was involved. So therefore, they cooked me, charged me as an adult, and gave me 240 months in prison, which is 20 years. Wow. And I couldn't even add that up at that time. I had wow. to, <laughs> you had to ask the word. How much time is that? You feel me? <laughs> for real. Wow, that's, that's real. Heavy, bro. That's, that's heavy. real. Yeah. And I, I want to—I don't, I don't mean to interrupt you, but it says something about your spirit to where to, you can look back at that and kind of laugh at it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It says and it showed that it didn't break your spirit. No, you know no, saying? no, no. See, you know, when I got incarcerated, music, music, and basketball became my safe haven. You yes. feel me? And when I felt when I was doing music, it was a way to express myself because I was a quiet person. You know, always, always, I was always a quiet person. Right. right so, but right. when I, but when I started doing music, I felt like I can express myself the way I wanted to, and you know, it's just music. But at the same time, music tells stories, mm-hmm. and sometimes you can paint story, you can paint pictures, and it looks like a whole bunch of scribble. But sometimes you can paint pictures, and people can actually see the picture. Right. <laughs> for real, sometimes yeah. through the scribble, you know, what I'm saying? scribble, you know, and then we were just talking about that as far as like organized chaos. Yeah, mm-hmm. some people, some people are raised in it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's organized to them. It's something that they understand. They comprehend the chaos. Yeah, and that's that's man, that's that's a hell of a thing to, to go through. And mm-hmm. Some people don't even make it through that. So I, you I know, and I did music for, music for a through. long time in prison. Like mm-hmm. I got a music video in prison. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For real, I did a music video. I, I told you this was gonna be a dope. Um, yeah. well, <laughs> okay, I'm like, what? I told you. Bro. <laughs> yeah. That tastes as yeah. much as yeah. You gotta really be creative like that. You like, yeah. look, I watched this. Right. Thing. That's yeah. what's up. I actually did a music video, shot a real music video. Probably some of the, the videos, probably some of it's got some doper than stuff I've seen already. I'm like, man, I shot that in prison. You feel me? Wow. Yeah, but, but it was real cameras and everything. Yeah. I, I was taking a class there and for my family, they liked me so much. They was like, what you want to do at the end? I said, I don't want to do a music video. They was like, man, we got you. We're going to let you do that. 
Man, you don't want to just let anybody come to yeah, you. Yeah, no. Nah. I don't care what your lyrics are. Like. <laughs> nah, and, they, and the lyrics is explicit like a motherfucker. Right. Yeah, yeah they the super explicit lyrics. And, but they just, you know, and like the same way you guys are seeing this grind that I'm doing in here, they seen it in here. Right. You know, and they respected it because they seen my, which where I was going. They said, okay, boom, he go here to here. He's dedicated to that. So they respected that. Right. And any time they knew I was actually just trying to build on what I actually had. And once they heard it, because I did a few shows in prison, mm -hmm. you feel me? And then they actually see me performing. Heard it, they're like, oh, I like that. You feel me? So, and plus I was super dope at basketball. Basketball really. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, it helps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm a beast at basketball. Right. I don't like somebody else about it. For mm -hmm. real. See? Yeah. <laughs> for real. I mean, I'll get crossed over. My whole, all my ankles will break. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I ain't really been hooping like that since right. I've been out. But, mm -hmm. you know, hooping is like riding a bike. Man, that's a, yeah. that's a amazing story, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, it's, I'm, I'm like, I'm, the things that black men go through, um, way less, and d and don't make it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. for you, to, like I said, for you to um, for you to go through that and it didn't break your spirit, like I really mean that. I'm, yeah. I commend you for that. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. um, we we need examples like you in the hood. Man, I'm telling you, I have seen so many grown men break. You. <laughs> I mean, like, get on pills, turn into right. UFOs and all kind of shit. Mm -hmm. For real. Like, you'd be like, man, this dude's in the dean bed. He came there normal. We had normal conversations. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, the world of the, the weight of the world got on his shoulders. Don't Boom, he go, to the, he go to the clinic. Now he's in the dean biscuit line trying to find, trying to find his way out of this thing. And then turning mm -hmm. itself into a vegetable, you feel me? Yeah. I'm like, man, they just hit you with elephant tranquilizer. You feel me? Nice. You, can't, you can't even function. Wow. You're just a numb body up in here. But that's what some of these dudes do. They try to right. numb the pain instead of, you know, using that time to utilize their way and find their niche. You know, right. become resourceful instead of always looking for resources. And right. one of the, one of the reasons I was um I was really anticipating this interview because I know like everything that you just said I know that you put all that into your music yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah, so that that's what that's what something that it, it transcends through through just any any other just a rapper just putting out music yeah. it's something that's really heartfelt and so man let's let's talk let's talk about some of the music um what, what are we playing tonight oh wow yeah well we got some we got some of your What's yeah, going on here? So we were, let's talk about what we're about to play. Cause hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. look, I've been listening to his music for a good portion of the day already. So I'm, yeah. I'm look, I'm ready. Let's go. So we <laughs> okay. So we got the transformation chamber coming. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like this joint. This joint is dope. Right. We played it. Yeah, Heck yeah, yeah. so right yeah, we about to get into the transformation chamber up in this joint. You, you guys, want to talk before? about it a little bit? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is the transformation chamber. This is actually a song that I wrote regarding the whole my whole upbringing in prison and how I went in and all that. But you know, in here, it's gonna tell the story, like the picture I told you. I like the thing. So go ahead. All <laughs> right, let's go for it. We paint the picture. Transformation chamber, guys. Money making print. Uh, locked in the box, staring at the walls, fuck Win in, skinny nigga, bumped up on that weight pal 13, just a little nigga, feeling like a walking at 8 man. I don't fuck with no fake niggas, I stay blowing that purple Welcome to the transformation chamber, call me Stephen Q. Erka a bunch of ghouls in my circle, a bunch of wolves in my cypher Stepping out of them cages, but some of my niggas still lifers Some of my niggas never coming home, so they live their life through me So I tell the story about the pain and glory till they mind start to be free I enter the walls, didn't know what to expect But stay rapping my set, push the weight on my chest Some say that I'm blessed, for not losing my mind They say I'm the 
future uh-huh. I'm still lost in the times, lost yeah. in the lines I'm so divine, I'm a rare breed that's not making my kind I'm uh-huh. back on my grizzle, I'm back on my grind They check on my feet but can check on my mind I'm lost in the words, I'm so reserved I'm so suited, I'm superb yeah. I stay blowing that herb and giving that industry that work, work, work Skirt, skirt, put in that word, then we disperse I'm prison preserve, it's cash over ass, pussy last, per first Survive the curses, the anguish in some situations that hurt If you can't stand the fire, take your ass to church, uh Winning, skinny nigga, hooked up on that weight pal 13, just a little nigga, feeling like I'm walking at 8 now I don't fuck with no fake niggas, I stay blowing that purple Welcome to the transformation chamber, call me Steve the Q Urko Playing the game just to keep up uh, In the devil's gut with my feet up In the devil clutch with that heat up Spitting flames on that beat up Snap your souls, I'm a reefer Game tight like Eureka uh, I touch niggas, I'm a preacher I touch the world, I'm a leader The justice system deceived us Turned your boy into a creature Flood the hood with that ether Tired of waiting on FEMA Trying to balance like Libra Reaching through these balls Hoping the other side is greener Hoping the other side can be rectified the receptor to these teachers Look into my eyes, I've been desynthesized Now I'm ostracizing these demons I seen killer cry, hand to the sky In the belly, turning to Jesus Hoping the Lord can save him, repent And help him find the missing pieces Nigga, flooding the streets, fighting the power Speaking okay. out, they grieving Can't trust the poison blue Cause the poison blue be the cause of so much grieving I've been shackled and chained, battered and bruised I'm a giant in stature I live by the rules I die as a factor Winning, skinny nigga, broke up on that way, pal. Thirteen, just a little nigga, feeling like I'm walking at eight. Man. I don't fuck with no fake niggas. I stay blowing that purple. Welcome to the transformation chamber. Call me Stephen Q. Urko. Winning, skinny nigga, broke up on that way, pal. Thirteen, just a little nigga, feeling like I'm walking at eight. Man. I don't fuck with no fake niggas. I stay blowing that purple. Welcome to the transformation chamber. Call me Stephen Q. Urko. Yeah. Alright guys, and we're back and that was uh Transformation Chamber, the Transformation Chamber, Money Making Prince and man, dope song. I, yeah, I told you I love that chat. The Transformation Chamber. Yeah. Bro. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> Hey man, man. but you know what? You know what though? I got the song. I got. You know, I'm a creative mind. Got the mic set. What? Hey, what? So no, I mean I want to check the tech. Okay, okay. So, mm-hmm. so, you know, I grew up on Family Matters and stuff like that. Right. You feel me? So Urko is always turned into this dude Stefan. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But I said, you I know, yeah, yeah, you stepped into the transformation and all that crazy right. shit. So, me, I was like, man, how about if I do a song how I came in, skinny dude, but all the stuff that I progressed through and, you know, surpassed and overcame. And make a song like that, which basically explains, you know, a lot of shit. Even about shit that's going on in the world today, right now. Mm-hmm. I wrote that song a long time ago, but... The shit that's going on, how we can't trust the boys in blue because the boys in blue be the cause of so much grieving. You feel me? Well, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's sad when you can write a lyric like mm-hmm. that. It's timeless. Yeah. It's timeless. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's a sad thing. Yeah. So I mean, the and it's crazy that you that you were liking the um, your um, analogy like the transformation chamber. Yeah. 
Earth went through. Yeah, you know, to the to the prison. You yeah, know to the earth. Cause I went in. I I think I went in innocent. Well, yeah. Well, and I and I, I I point that out because Urkel was he was he was like the, the, the same age. He was yeah 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 because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was watching that when I was about yeah. that same age. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking like to my I was an innocent kid. Innocent kid, like you're like when I see the album cover, and I see myself. Right. I see my eyes. I actually see so much innocence. You know? mm-hmm. That's right. the first thing I see. I'm like, hold up, man. That was just. You know, like when I look at myself now, I see that I've been through some shit. Right. You feel mm-hmm. me? Right. But back then, it was just a bunch of just like, I didn't know what was going on. I was going to be like, oh, shut what the heck they got to do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> just from, from picture to picture, like from frame to frame, and you're not understanding what's about to happen and all those frames yeah. coming ahead of you. As a 13 year old, you don't understand the gravity. Yeah. Okay? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you, you can't really comprehend that because you, don't, you haven't been through anything. No, you haven't been through absolutely anything. It's that at 13 years old, especially a 13 year old growing up in the ghetto, all they know is the ghetto. Right. And basically <coughs> getting involved with that type of stuff with the law. Mm-hmm. Because now, you know, as a juvenile, you're supposed to go through the system, you're supposed to understand your rights, you're supposed to understand what's coming towards you because you got people here to support you, to help you. Mm -hmm. But when you get to the adult system, I went to trial, you feel me? So when I got to trial, I didn't know nothing they were talking about. They was using so many big words. So they charged me as an adult? (laughs) Yeah, they charged me as an adult. I went to adult trial, jury, they picked the jury. And when you're a child, they're speaking English, but they're not speaking English. Yeah, they're not. No. <laughs> they don't understand what they're talking about. They're not speaking no. Type of English you recognize. Right. You know, you're not, they're you're not talking, from that area. Yeah, no. They're talking three syllable words. You ain't even got to the first syllable yet. Right. You feel right. me? Right. So when they're talking, you can't defend yourself. It's right. impossible. Right. For even if they were saying, whoop, 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 he did it, admit to it, you did it. You gotta say, yeah, man, because you don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> mm-hmm. right. right. You know, and I think that the justice system, they do that a lot to young individuals that don't really know no better. And they know that. And they know that. And, and when they, and it's, they don't try to correct it. And society don't even try to correct it because wow. the news actually portray this kid like that little kid that they said shot somebody in white center that was 13 mm-hmm. or somewhere like they're portraying him just to be some ruthless uh juvenile delinquent killer or something but he did something you don't never know what's going on in that man's life or in his mind or who did something to that man or where he came from you gotta uh, you know from 13 to 18 i changed dramatically I can I can safely say that I was mm-hmm. mean, angry, gang bang, didn't get along with people. When I turned eighteen, my mind just flipped, and I wasn't even thinking about that shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So that just told me they was like, no, you're not really. But at the same time, you have to pay for the action that you did back yeah. then. Yeah, you still got to pay for the that's, action. That's you definitely, you definitely did. So yeah. what helped you to get through twenty years? Mm-hmm. What were you think the, the core things that helped you to get through that and see yourself to coming out of that? Well, I think I'm a what's they call it optimistic person. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? mm-hmm. And I think that I, as time progressed, you know, I pretty much knew what I was gonna do. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I was born and bred for this hip hop shit. Right. You know. Like when I was in there, I was kind of famous for this shit. Right. You feel me? They come to my cell to get a dope stuff. Mm. <laughs> for real. Right. Mm. All right. You know, and I and me, I understand if you can impress some prison cats, you can press the world because these right. are the worst critics in the world. Well, I I heard some. I, I don't know if it was Richard Pryor that said said something like he went to jail or something. And he, and he was about to get beat up or something <laughs> like that. He started telling jokes. You yeah. know what I'm saying to yeah. get him off his ass. Yeah. And then he, I mean, so it's it's. And like you said, the same thing that they saw in there, we see out here. Like, yeah. So regardless, it transcends. Yeah. When, when you have that talent, yeah, people see that. People see that, and, mm-hmm. and people, and you can use that always to, to your advantage, and pe- and it, you wield it wisely because oh, you can wield it like a sword. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. So and I'm glad that you you're <coughs> doing the right thing with, with, with your talent, brother. 
Most definitely, man. Like you know, talent is a God God's blessing to you. Right. Everybody got a talent somewhere. Yes, right. Right. It's a blessing to you that, and if you don't utilize it, it becomes a talent that's just um undiscovered. Mm-hmm. As my mom says, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. For real. <laughs> right there. Okay. And me, I always knew I got talent. Right. But if I don't push it, or if I don't push myself and brand myself, then nobody, it's going to be a, you know, it's kind of like me. When I was gone, I was just a, a, a dirty diamond in right. the rocks and the dirt. You feel right. me? I didn't have no shine to me. I had to polish this joint to make sure this joint shine. They call it the diamond in the rough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. I had sure? to do that myself. Mm-hmm. The concrete, though. Right. Like, hold up, man. Let me, boom. And then you see a guy like this after 20 years, and you're like, oh, how is he looking like that? After mm-hmm. 20, what was he doing up in here? Usually people coming out, man, I ain't none of that. That's weird right. to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For real. Yeah, some That's people come out with bitterness and <laughs> anger <laughs> like, all in their all face like and on, on their shoulders. <clears throat> like, it's, it's amazing to me that I didn't break the spirit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So that says a lot about <laughs> your mindset. Yeah. You know, to, for, you to, for you to come out of a, a, a situation like that, innocent, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I remember yeah. being 13, you know what I'm saying? I can't even imagine going through no shit like that. Mm-hmm. At all. Mm-hmm. At all. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, I see 13 year olds now. You right. Me? And I look at them and I'm talking, I talk to them. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Like, come on. You feel me? Because, you know, you got some advanced 13 year olds, mm-hmm. but you got a 13 year old that grew up in the ghetto where he's not actually educated, did a special ed all his life, mm-hmm. all this shit. You feel me? And you guys say, no, he is thinks like a grown man, and we're going to charge him with first degree premeditated murder. Mm-hmm. Are you serious? <laughs> come on, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's impossible. Everything about this story just fires me up, man. It is fire. They did it. They did it to two of us. It was my best friends, Willard Jimerson. We go. We both got locked up okay. in the same year. We grew up in the penitentiary together. You feel me? Yeah. So, you know, it, it was. He, they did him the same way. Same way they did me. Well, we it's did. easy. Like one, of, like we said, it's some 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 thirteen year olds are bad. Some of them not. When you when you're on the lower half of that spectrum, you know, it's easy to just slap a nipple on you and toss your ass in jail. Yeah, yeah forget mm-hmm. about you. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you're just another a black boy. Yeah. And pff, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking about my son. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, most definitely. And I, that's what I think about. I'm like, man, listen, like. To go through, to go through that, to be shackled up with grown ass men on a chain bus, to go to prison, be in the side of a R units where they bring all the prisoners from every jail there, everybody sitting there, and they're talking about strip naked. You're 13. Hmm. You're like, huh? What? It's like 500 people around here. Man, I'm not stripping naked. Yeah. I heard people getting raped. Like, you know, you're 30, you don't know what the fuck is about to happen to yeah. you. Wow. And then they say, okay, you're going to IMU. Okay, whatever IMU is, that's where we're going. Mm-hmm. So we go to IMU, but IMU's the whole. Mm-hmm. Now I'm 13, I'm 23 and 1. Mm. <laughs> are, you, are you scared of me? For seven, eight months. Uh, in a hole at 13 what the fuck I, a kid can't you know what come on <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean a kid needs to oh, hey, come on I know. You gotta yeah. that, man. Dude, that's, that's mind blowing man yeah that's it's stupid mind blowing but at the same time it, either that's gonna break you or it's gonna make you mm-hmm. I understand that All I right. come from a strong family you feel me my family done weathered the storm through everything so therefore I'm not gonna, and plus I got a, I had a big homie that was locked up as well, and he used to feed me knowledge. Mm-hmm. So therefore, he used to, he used to push me towards education, mm-hmm. towards betterment of myself. So when I got that type of info and that type of guidance, and then the guys around me mm-hmm. always looked at me as the little brother. And right. we, I didn't get a chance to teach my kid the right thing. I'm just gonna teach him the rules of the game. 
Yeah. <laughs> you feel well, God bless you, honey, because yeah, he right. made he made sure that regardless of everything else you were going through, that he put you around certain people to make yeah. sure that you got the things I that you talk. needed. And yeah. that doesn't always happen for a lot of people. So if you got that, no. man, that's, no, that's real. real. I've seen, I've seen that, like my co-defendant, me and him separated, but we kind of did two different types of time. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. My time was based on education, basketball, rapping. His time was rapping and whatever else he was doing, whatever mix he liked to get into. But the way I did time, I always like to expand my mind. Mm -hmm. Because if you're in the books, I read a lot of books. And you books, can escape in the books. And books, books is like books. movies. Mm -hmm. right. You feel me? If you read the right books, you can really, like I was reading James Patterson books. Mm -hmm. You feel right? These books is they turn fast and the story goes on. Alex mm -hmm. crosses and all kind of. I'm like, man, this is interesting. That whole series to take you months to read, mm -hmm. but it gives you a. It actually helps with your creativity. Mm -hmm. right. You feel me? Because you're reading in books and you're like, uh, maybe you got a word. You found a word up in that book that you never heard of. Mm -hmm. You're like, man, how the fuck I'm gonna utilize this word mm -hmm. in one of my rhymes and make these people exactly. understand? Exactly. Right. You know, <laughs> man. I'm telling you, and that that reminds me of like, uh, and we're gonna get into some more music. Yeah. But that reminds me of like when um, our people were enslaved. You know what I'm saying? Like, you cannot break the, the, that spirit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because when even even if you try, like man, we we will find a way to, to thrive and, and survive. Man. Yeah. And I, I, I see that all in you, man. So I man, again, man, that's I can't wait to I can't wait to keep it. You know, yeah, the, yeah, but the people the people that I surrounded myself with, mm -hmm. everybody was strong. You feel me? Right. Bert I, that's the truest statement in the world, Bert was the same fairly flock together. Mm -hmm. I seen it in the prison. The homosexuals stick with the homosexuals. Right. Even if you were thinking you're a gangster, you're very you're eventually gonna go to the homosexuals. That's who you are. You feel right. me? And the 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 people that's in church is gonna stick to the people in church. The Muslims gonna stick to the Muslims. The gangsters gonna stick. People that spit game, they over here spit game amongst each other. People I mess with, we play basketball. We was all from different areas. Uh, we all went to the studio and rap. We all had common bond and common goals. Mm -hmm. right. You feel me? So therefore, we connected. Mm -hmm. So with that, rap, hip hop actually takes you out of places that you're at, that you're in because when you're feeling sad and gloom and you know how to actually create, you can say, man, you know what? Let me rap this right here. Boom, boom. And the next thing you know, you're mm -hmm. feeling you're, you're you're no longer feeling that feeling you were feeling. Mm -hmm. You got to envision it to be <laughs> a, a mm -hmm. rapper, you know. For what real. I'm so real. so yeah. you got gang the stories, paper, paper, paper. I had a beat machine in there. So therefore I got I've been making beats. Boom. Next thing you know, I turn my beat machine up. I'm rapping. Uh uh. Then after I'm done rapping all this I done said fuck you. 50 times to the police. <laughs> 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 you done took my shit, you took my, you done took my weed out the vent, you know, and all that whoop, 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 and now I'm good. You know, and I don't care. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, so that's a good way to release a lot of stuff too. That's for yeah, sure. That's man. the thing I'm telling you. Hip hop is something that really, you know. That's why I don't really people. You know, people's music is music. You know, everybody mm -hmm. got their preference and preference of music. I don't really follow a person that say, "Oh, I'm about to put this music out," and they might not be just as good. But that's their way of expression. They mm -hmm. might feel good after releasing that stretch. You feel right, me? Right. But you know, but. <laughs> <'Cause> man, <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> man, yeah. this, this it could be a right there. I feel it yeah. could be a release, man. Yeah, definitely, it's definitely <laughs> a super release. You know, and mm -hmm. anytime you can push out, push out that type of shit, and make yourself feel better, and then you can actually make somebody else feel better. Right? Mm -hmm. you know, they're feeling down, and right. they, you might just be in your chilling, and they be like, "Hey, man, bust that." Or you might be on the yard and be like, hey man, what's that one run? Right. And then everybody on the thing is like, oh yeah, that one right here. Because yeah, the music <laughs> will change your own <laughs> emotion. It really does. I've experienced that time and time again. I'm again. telling you, just your whole music. mood will just change. Just yeah. from one just great song. Yeah. 
Yeah, It'll do it. Let's change our mood right now. <laughs> hey, let's, let's do, do it. We're going to change our mood and we're going to listen to a great song right now, you guys. And this song we got coming up right now is called Life in the Raw. Whoa. Life yeah. in the The B Armada. We're from a nobody nigga to a ghetto celebrity. Yeah. These bitches be feeling me, say they be loving, loving my melody. Uh, These boys be hating like they heart full of that jealousy. Uh, Gotta move for the paper, now I'm creating disparities. Uh, Got a federal indictment, now yeah. I live life as a felon. felon. Industries got me knowing, I don't know who the fuck telling. Nah. Got a two for the hater, call that my sucker repelling. Uh, got my head in the clouds from all the draw I'm in hell. Uh, my dog got an L just for selling crack. crack. And he been fighting for his life for 20 willy flat. Uh, These boys are really bad. To stop a milli stack. Milli These boys and Judas, they turn your whole bitch in black. Facts. No fiction, call that self infliction. Uh-huh. Murder by ambition, just to live self sufficient. Self commitment got me selfish, thinking self first. first. Had to come up out the trenches to reach myself. Uh-huh. Well, it's life in the wrong, been gone like a month of Sundays. Uh-huh. Most of my fun days turned out to be my worst days. Worst in the worst case, I gotta get it in the worst way. Uh-huh. Even with gunplay, gotta rep it like my birthday. Yeah. Live life in the wrong, been gone like a month of Sundays. Yeah. Most of my fun days turned out to be my worst days. Worst in the worst day. case, I gotta Gotta get it in the worst way uh, Even with gunplay, gotta rep it like my birthplace uh, All around the world, it's the same song, same song. Gotta keep hustling and get your bread long Touchdown whenever I'm in the red zone uh, With the lime, I bring the drama, R.I.P. your yeah, head uh, Went from prison yard to luxury, living inside the capsule yeah. Went from sleeping on bunks to sitting on leather couches uh, Went from wishing for bitches that haven't many spouses yeah. Got off my ass and start getting no more public housing nah. I know hustlers move Packed through the city. city, go get it out of state and bring it back to the city. city. Pockets on fat in the lap, be the semi. Uh. Eyes on the prize and they mad for the scrilly. Yeah. Keep a couple throw of breads to keep a nigga overhead. Uh. Overfit, working overtime to see my grind spread. Uh. Yeah, like a round boy, you know y'all bounce back. Bounce like back. 28 in the pirate who I spit crack. Uh. In the kitchen cooking raw, raw. Whole community became victims of the law and uh. continue to stand tall. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta fall just to Rise up. rise up, stay ten toes down in your eyes up. I live life in the wrong, been gone like a month of Sundays. Uh, Most of my fun days turned out to be my worst days. Worst in the worst case, I gotta get it in the worst way. Uh, Even with gunplay, gotta rep it like my birthday. Yeah. Live life in the wrong, been gone like a month of Sundays. Yeah. Most of my fun days turned out to be my worst days. Worst in the worst day. case, I gotta get it in the worst uh, way. Even with gunplay, gotta rep it like my birthday. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, and that was Life in the Raw. Yeah, they're hitting the like on that one. Heck yeah, this one is popping. They like that one. Life in the Raw, Life in the Raw. Heck yeah. <laughs> so, go ahead and ask, so are you independent? Yes, I am. Okay, and what is the what is the name of the, of the label? Respect Royalty Entertainment. Okay, Respect Royalty, and I like that. Okay, that's the R and the R that I know. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, that's dope. Yeah, so, you know, it's all the way... You know, I kind of branded it my, you know, just me wearing it and me being an artist, I thought I'd be the best person that could ever brand anything. Right. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. the big as I big go, the big as it goes. There mm-hmm. it is. You feel me? Right. But if people like this, see, I, me, I hear other rappers too. Other rappers always tell me merchandising is the, is the key. That's mm-hmm. what I said. Yeah. Merchandising is the key. Merchandising might get you way more than rap money. Right. Mm-hmm. You feel me? If you basic, as especially as an artist, because kind of like when I was little, I seen Michael Jordan, which was my favorite basketball player. Mm-hmm. Every time he come out with shoes, I just wanted the shoes because it was Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Right. <laughs> right. Right. For real. And not only people just people buy the shoes because they like Michael Jordan, but what about all the people that just went and like, oh, I like those shoes. Just let me get them off them because I like them. 
Right. So now with the with my brand and what I I make dresses mm-hmm. for women. I got I got shirts, sweaters, oh. like everything. But my I got another. You know I just want to continue to expand the brand mm-hmm. and you know make the. Uh, that's why I said it's an entertainment company mm-hmm. because I just don't want it just to be for hip hop. I want it emotional, mm-hmm. respect, loyalty, promote everything. Whatever you do, entertainment, mm-hmm. you need to do it for it. Hey, <laughs> hey. Uh, <laughs> you want it, we got it. You, you want it, we it, got it. it. <laughs> you know, that's my vision. When I you know, like that. Said and, done. Mm-hmm. and, you know, in Seattle, we don't really have no nowhere where, you know, basically you're on your own. Yeah, they hate that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically, like, you're on your own. You ain't got nobody really backing you. You might got a, your homeboy backing you, or you might have another one of these promoters backing you. But you don't got no real. You can't go into uh, Universal Records and say and jump on their table and be like, Yeah, yeah, I'm about me. I need a record deal. Mm-hmm. So you can't do that. So you gotta go California. You gotta go to where's popping at. Yeah. And a lot of the people that's here, they don't like to go nowhere. Right, that's that's right. right. That's I don't want to get outside my comfort zone because you don't know what fit, what's on the other side of the fence. Mm-hmm. But what people don't understand is all over the world, people love music. Right. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Right. This yeah. is a conversation yeah. I had. <laughs> they want to snapshot into that hood life, and for real. So yeah. Not, not only you not only, but not only that, I done actually been at some of these shows, and some of these dudes are dope ass performers. Mm-hmm. And now you go somewhere where they really love hip hop because you ain't gonna get, you know, most of the clubs here is recycling cans. You're gonna see the same people mm-hmm. every show. Yep. Right. You know, you're never gonna really get a chance to expand unless somebody like Macklemore should make somebody or so you put you on their fan base. Right. But if you never, nobody's never gonna hear you if, if you go to keep performing at the bars. Cause it's gonna be the same people. Cause all they do is go bar to bar, bar. Mm-hmm. Right? You know, but when you go to these other places, that's when you grab a new bunch of fans. Because after they hear you, they are gonna feel a certain way, mm-hmm. right? And they're gonna ask, "Man, who the fuck was that?" Well, they are gonna receive you a whole different <laughs> way right. because they don't know you. I mean, it's always it's always the people who are outside of your camp, the state or your yeah. local yeah. environment that that receives you better. Yeah, you, know what I'm saying? you gotta step out, and you know I I, I had those conversations with a lot of different people because people are so caught up with nobody over here supports me in this area. Whether you live in Philadelphia or you live in anywhere, and it's like man, you know you can branch out. You don't have to stay there. You can yeah. go to other places and make other places and all over not the even, world. But it's not even. It's not even. It's not even just. It's places in Washington. Mm-hmm. You know, Washington's a big state. Yeah. yeah it is. Like, for real, Washington's, is compared to, if you go to the East Coast, compared to those states, Washington's huge. Yeah. You're in line. So, <laughs> so if you, if you, if you say you got Spokane, you ain't never tapped into, that's only five hours away. If you're mm-hmm. still in Washington. Right. That's a huge, that's a whole nother yeah, thing. You Heck go yeah. to Bellingham. Bellingham got a college town. You ain't never even been here to do your thing. They got a, those are a whole bunch of new fans that you can grab. If you're just willing you to travel, right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you're just willing to travel, every time you do a show, even if you picked up 20 fans every time you did a show and they tuned into your music and you did, let's say, 14 shows and you got 20 fans, that's like 240 people. Mm-hmm. Right, you feel me? That now these are loyal fans. These are people that are gonna go actually buy your album. Mm-hmm. Right. You're not just people that are just gonna view you and not do anything. No, they're gonna right. <laughs> exactly. they're like, serious. You mm-hmm. feel me? So that's my thing now, my mentality. I I would have been traveling, I would have been doing all that, but I you know, I've been on federal probation and I got I can't do the proper movements that I want to do with the hip hop, but I'm working toward getting off of that. I mean, and thank God for the internet, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. most definitely. Most definitely. Thank God for the internet. And the internet is actually, that's all I've been doing. I mean, <laughs> for real. You can't, like I said, you can't stop a hustler, man. You can't no, keep a good no, hustler no. down. I no, think no. that this, corona, this coronavirus actually was like I a, just had this conversation. I think this coronavirus is really dope for hip hop. Because it gives people a chance to see people they've never seen before. Mm-hmm. Right. You feel me? Right. 
to actually hear them out. Yeah. Right? Not to say, ah, uh, because you know your busy life, you're too busy, you're going to work, you're coming home, you're taking care of your kids. You ain't got time to be looking at somebody sending you something. Yeah. Right? You feel me? You're like, yeah, I ain't trying to eat that. I got way too much on my plate to be dealing with that crazy shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but now you got the time. So now you're actually seeing the art. You're like, oh shit, this we got this right here. Actually, yeah, mm-hmm. this right here. <laughs> really the good. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, we got this right here in our, in our own state. You know, and not only that, you just hear the music, and the music does something to you. And the music is like, okay, he's talking about some real shit. Mm-hmm. Just you know, and it catches you off guard because you're like. Hold on, this don't sound like that. It says out its own sound. Mm-hmm. There ain't no auto tunes. It ain't none of that. Right. To it. Exactly. It's its own personal sound, and that's what I. I'm original. I ain't with none of that copy. Nobody style. I'm glad you're saying that right now because yeah. now I get to touch on that yeah. because. Um, I did notice <laughs> that about you when I listened to your stuff. I couldn't sit there and say, oh, "He sounds like." Oh, this kind of is like. Right. Oh, he kind of got nah. I agree. He was him. So now my question is, my first question is, as you grew up listening to music, who influenced you? Who, what music influenced you? You know what I mean? And was there a time where you did, you know, well, I'm a singer, so it's different. Uh, You know, but people emulate, you know what I mean? The singers as you're growing and then you start to find your own voice. Did you have to go through that kind of phase, young, like young, growing in hip hop and doing those things you have that thing where you have people that you love you emulate it and then you said I'm gonna make me me though you know see but I'm gonna tell you a lot of a lot of times people don't even realize I got a lot of people in me Mm -hmm. like a lot of people that I actually through hip hop I actually grabbed a little piece of them that I Mm -hmm. like you know when I was growing up I was heavily into baby area music you feel me Mm -hmm. True Down was my favorite Mm artist when you see me dress I'm really flashy if you hear my rhymes, I got character in my rhymes. Right. Drew mm-hmm. got character in there. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Okay. You know, I see then, that. I and, see that. Then Yuck Mouth. Yuck Mouth was one of my favorite rappers growing up. I got a little bit of that tongue twist, Yuck Mouth, the little flow. Every once in a while, you'll hear it. Some people would know, go, oh, that's a little bit of Yuck Mouth right there. Right. Sometimes I go to Jay Z with my East Coast shit. Mm. You know, I got pop when I go deep. Mm. I got, I just, you know, me. I used to rap like Twister. Sometimes, sometimes that's why you catch me yeah. with the tongue twister shit. I used to that used to be my style, mm. you know, for years. Right. <laughs> you know, and people don't like it's a rabbit is a magic. Is it you grow with it? Mm-hmm. You, know, you you catch somebody you like, you imitate them. Mm-hmm. But eventually, you want to become your own, right? You know, and the originality. That's any rapper that I know that's legendary. When you turn on this music, you automatically know it's him. You don't even exactly. think about nobody else. Mm-hmm. You know? right. And that's how music is supposed to sound. Exactly. It, it, and if it's good music, it's going to be a good, it's going to be nice to your ears. Mm-hmm. And it's going to, the beat's going to hit you. And then you're just going to know that sound from anywhere. Right. Like, you're identifying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, you know, you can't mimic E40. It's impossible. Right, right. right. <laughs> no, no. There's no way. You, no can't, you can't mimic Tupac. You gotta mm-hmm. you can't mimic Ice Cube. Right. Easy. You can't remember all mimic none of these guys. Be mm-hmm. You're influenced by them, but you cannot you mimic, mimic right. Their flow, their flow pattern. You right. feel me? And that that's the thing with with hip hop originality has no longer it's no longer originality in hip hop. It's more about mm-hmm. a fad. It's more it ain't more about, oh well let me see uh if I can create a new style. You like, oh, this dude got this style packing. I want my shit to sound just like his. Mm. Fuck no, I don't want my shit to sound yeah, no. nothing like his. Everything's <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> Man. Well, even if he's dope, even if he's dope like Future. Mm-hmm. I don't want my sound to sound like Future. That's it. That's, that's his shit. Yeah, shit. that's him. You feel me? That's what the, be- the, the beauty of hip- hip-hop is. Right. Like when I first heard Designer, I didn't really know if that was Future or Designer. First hearing. That's not that's not, mm-hmm. that's not a good thing. I'm like, yeah, oh, no. future, but it was somebody else and I'm like, Oh, okay. So that's what's going on these days. But me, I'm just gonna stick to the script. Some people that came with like, Oh man, you got an old school style, but you got this, but you 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 got new age lingo. 
but me, I'm like a, I get, I get better with time. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, you know, I may have had an old school style yeah. at one point in time because all my joints was written in prison. Mm -hmm. I didn't have no experiences out here. I was locked up for 20 years at 13. All my shit was in prison, and the rhymes you seen is just strictly from imagination and hearing stories in a yard. Mm -hmm. You feel me? In my experiences. Right. Now I'm out here, and I'm actually able to see, talk, you know, basically just put it all, everything that I that's around me in the music. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, I think well, that's every the type of music I like to listen to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something that, that's not coming from no phony place. It's yeah. coming from something real life experiences. Yeah. Yeah. So you get the best from it. What, what, what else we got? What else? I'm trying to I'm trying to hear that thing. Yeah, so okay, well, um this next song we got coming up is called Check In. Ooh. Hey, I'm gonna check in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on already. Okay. Yeah. I made sure <laughs> this one was on there. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna check in. Yeah, that's my damn <laughs> Hey, that's that shit right there. Check in, man. That's one of my favorites right there. I love that song. Right. You got a lot of bars in there. Yeah, man. Let's get into it, man. That's my boy. Oh. Peanut butter guts, go grill, no jelly. I was locked in the belly, share my space with a celly. Shout out my nigga Telly, shot your boy some fatty. Bless me with a jug, told my nigga I'll be ready in a minute. As soon as I'm evicted, as soon as I touch down, I'ma go and fucking get it. Pursue my paper route like a nigga was addicted. I ain't fucking with you niggas, I ain't trying to get convicted. Nah, your boy been a thug since gin and juice. And I can feel the hate, cause your bitch is loose. I don't do no hating, boy. I Salute. And I don't do no waiting, man, I commute uh, I been with the shit since a little nigga uh, Had to spray from the dirt to get it since a little nigga Had to grow some wings uh, like a caterpillar, caterpillar. Propel out the children before I have to clap a nigga yeah. Flow so dope cause I go so deep yeah. I be playing with these keys but I'm no motif uh, I go all night and she don't get no sleep yeah. And she go all day, all mouth, no teeth uh, I'm from Seattle, boy, so I blow big chief I grind so hard, so I'm gon' eat. eat. Punk police, real niggas run the streets. Uh. And I'm so far out of range, I be hard to reach. Uh. I don't get check, I do the check in. Check in. When she get the check, bet she check in. in. Fly nigga everywhere I step in. Uh. I don't fuck with niggas, they have no direction. Uh. I don't get checked, I do the check in. Check in. When she get the check, bet she check in. Check in. Fly nigga everywhere I step in. I don't fuck with niggas, they have no direction. Uh. Listen with your eyes so your ears can see. Yeah. Ain't no rapper that are alive, you can compare to P. I was on the yard with them wolves and them hyenas. That'll crease you up like dry cleaners. I was on the block with the criminals. That never speaks subliminals. I speak the truth like it's biblical. And keep it real like it's a ritual. Only surround myself with the real. That keep it so official like that government seal. Still, I feel these boys be hating. But still, I feel I gotta stay patient. Still, I feel these girls be Satan. So I still won't do no saving or chasing. Like my nigga Trey Black, I be bounce rock skating. Boy, I'm a John, I'm leaving cracks in the pavement. This is not a game, this is far from entertainment. This is death row if you ain't got my pavement. This is that gas what you niggas been craving. This is what you get, pain, miss with dedication, nigga. I don't get check, I do the check in. When she get the check, bet she check in. Fly nigga everywhere I step in. I don't fuck with niggas, they have no direction. I don't get checked, I do the check in. When she get the check, bet she check in. Fly nigga everywhere I step in. I don't fuck with niggas, they have no direction. Get on my level, I shine like my bezel. Bitch, get on my level. I ride like the devil. I got a trunk full of pound. All base, no trouble. Got a fetish for paper, so all my bitches they pedal. Yeah, no, I don't settle. You can get slapped with the metal. I got my mind on my money like I'm getting out of the ghetto. Hunger pains in my tummy. You turn your boy to a rebel. Keep it cash over ass. Never treat a bitch like you're special. Got a hole in the roof. I see the sky when I'm balling. Pockets being obese. 
Yes, it's like the sky keep on falling. I be blowing that chief, it's like that kiss keep on calling. Got a bona fide stripping, it's like her ass be applauding. Sexy as fuck, I like the way she be walking. She like to ride with a plug and she don't do too much talking. She be off of them purse, Molly in them blue dolphins. And I be all in her purse, laying it down like a coffin. Coffin got more green than Boston. My stun more stunning than Stone Cold Steve Austin. My time costing, go hard, never soften. Pull a fresh and buy itself the cost parking. I don't get check, I do the check in. When she get the check, bet she check in. Fly nigga everywhere I step in. I don't fuck with niggas, they have no direction. I don't get check, I do the check in. When she get the check, bet she check in. Fly nigga everywhere I step in. I don't fuck with niggas, they have no direction. And we're back, you guys. That's right. And you're right back here, at Urban Solution Radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was check in. If they ain't got no direction, that's my shit, partner. Yeah. Yo, and if you guys are just now tapping in, we got money making prints in the building. In the building. My God, <laughs> man. We've been chopping it up about all kinds of stuff. Heck man. yeah. Playing all types of dope music that he's got for us. And man, we got some new stuff coming too. And we're going to get into that in a minute. But man, First, let's talk about something because I, I listened to uh, quite a few tracks a day after my workout, and I was just like, and just in case y'all need to know, like you can work out to this music. Hey, well, if you yeah. work out, if you in quarantine, <laughs> you've been tearing up them Doritos a little right. bit too much. Popping that money making, you know, popping that. Sweat heck yeah, sweat, sweat it off. <laughs> <laughs> sweat it off, okay. Get your check in, all right? <laughs> Do that check in, so. Um, but he's got some really cool features and some really cool songs. And uh, one of them that I really, really enjoyed was uh, S- Space Needle Music featuring Walker. Man, Walker That's Montana, dope, man. Yeah. Heck yeah, super dope track. I really like that. Shout out to you, Walker, too, man, out there doing your thing. Been watching you and checking out your music. Hopefully, we going to have you in the chair here soon hey, sometimes with sometimes us. Get it, Walker, man. Oh, yeah. You know, really was uh, digging that track. Another one that I really like was Coldest in the City. I was... I was on point. <laughs> I like that. A lot of dope, dope verses in that joint. A lot of great artists in that joint. First of all, you know, we always talk about Trey Black. I feel like I know you, Trey. Yeah, I feel I, like I know We've been playing so much of your music. You right, own so yeah. much music, dude. You're everywhere. Yeah, that's Busy. my guy. That's right. another homeowner, man. Heck I'm going to tell you something about Trey Black. That's some real shit. Me and Trey Black came, when I tell you about the birds and the same flag we flock together, right. We was in the, like, that's all we did together was music. I got a cassette tape with me and Trey Black right now. You right. hear me? Cassette. <laughs> that's when you're serious about yeah. it. Yeah. He said, I got and a cassette tape. So, therefore, I know it's, I know it's passion. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, mm-hmm. this ain't really no surprise to me mm-hmm. how he's pushing. Man. Because he's being dope. That dude's pushing. Like, man. he's dope mm-hmm. and he's pushing and he's everywhere. And it's amazing and that's how he's supposed to do it. And I'm proud of it. Love it. Love it. Trey Black, shout out to you, man, for doing your thing. This song, Coldest in the City, also had Georgia Gold. You know, we had him here in the seat. Love having him here. We can't wait to get you back here, Mr. Gold. That was an awesome interview with you. And uh, again, Walker. Walker Mountain, coming back again. He's out here doing his thing. Y'all go check him out. I know he's got his his whole situation with the grill and the the food situation popping up. He's doing his thing. That's another argument. That's what I'm yeah, talking Walker about. Was a jack of many trades, Heck though. yeah, y'all need to go check my <laughs> man out <laughs> too. I've been on Walker's All right. He's been. Yeah, he does his Selling thing. you. Right. And uh, one of my other favorites was uh, Battle of the Sexes. I don't know if you heard that one with Helen Kane. That joint is oh, a, a dope joint. Yeah, yeah. And they, they doing that joint to the to the boot up uh, yeah. track. I, it's, it's off the choice. Y'all need, y'all, off the choice. I need to check that joint out. Heck yeah, definitely. Helen Kane came off on that. Came off on that joint. Yeah, she complimented me so dope. When I when she sent it, cause I did, we wasn't in the studio together. Mm. I was wondering that when I listened yeah. to it, yeah. But when she sent it back to me, it fit. It fit so filled. I'm like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was like one song, like one whole situation. Yeah. I love that. And um, yeah, you killed it, Helen. You killed yeah, it. Killed that, Heck yeah. So and yeah. of course, you know, you did. You do your thing. So I'm. Right, you right, ain't right, got. Right. I ain't That's got to tell you. <laughs> He's just doing his thing, you know. So, uh, man, t- totally. But talk, man, talk, let's talk this new single you got that's going to be dropping here soon. What, that uh, Inappropriate Gentleman? Yes, I checked this out. I saw <laughs> I saw a little clip. I was like, what? Okay, okay. Yeah, I 
like right, this. Yeah, I'm with it. See, I'm coming with this is the, now. This is the new album when I'm all the way out and I'm actually seeing all this stuff going. Mm-hmm. But this inappropriate gentleman. I just woke up one morning and I was like, "Man, fuck! I'm an inappropriate gentleman." You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, you know, I could be nice, I could be kind, I could be gracious, I could do all them things, but I'm a little rough around the edges as well. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I might wear a suit and tie and some tennis shoes and a hat. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. I'm like, we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> Goes down, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm with it, man. I was like, look, look, I was about to say it was the twenty, it was the twenty eighteen um, the yeah. music awards. I'm like, look, Prince. Yeah, 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 when I'm just trying to form, I'm just trying to put the inappropriate gentleman. It's D. It's mm-hmm. a real life. It's real life for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, and the beat so soulful. I love soulful shit. Yeah. Right? You feel me? It just once the, I got the beat, the beat just took me to wherever I was going with it, and where I went with it was something different. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Dope. Super dope. And I don't know if you guys have checked out that promo clip that he's been pushing around, but that joint is off the charts. It's got me. I'm waiting to see the whole thing and listen yeah, to the whole dope. joint. I already know it's going to be just dope situation. So yeah. y'all make sure y'all stay up on that and keep your eyes open for that joint. Um, you want to go ahead and plug some of your stuff? Let people know where to find you, your music. Tell them where to follow you, you know. Okay, you can follow me on IG under Money Making Prince 206. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Laville Prince Cotton or Laville Cotton. Uh, YouTube, Money Making Prince. You want to subscribe to that because I'm about to be dropping some real life dope visuals. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, Tezuda did this truth video for me. You guys better tap in with Tezuda man. too, man. Shout out to Zuda, uh, guys. Yeah, I've been hearing about this a lot too. Man, just, yeah, listen, you guys yeah. better tap in with Tezuda, man. All of them. All of them. All of them. Yeah. That's, they all tell it. Let me just drop us. Or Ajane and those Ajane, guys just yeah, dropped yeah, a new yeah. a new situation. She's yeah, been to see it as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of them dope. You know, but I'm seeing what I'm seeing right now. I'm I'm proud of I'm proud of Seattle rappers right now. Right. You feel me? Because they're not only taking they're taking initiative. You feel they're not waiting for something to come to them. Right. Some of these people are actually going out and reaching for it. They're even if they, it yeah, they, even if they reaching for nothing, they still reaching. Right. And that's that's I can respect somebody that's always mm-hmm. reaching. Man. You feel me? Okay. So when I see these when I see these guys doing their own videos, selling their own merch, making their own merch, uh, promoting their own shows, right. like. You're a well-rounded individual when you do that right there because mm-hmm. you're not relying on one hustle. That's a businessman. For real, you're, you're, you're a businessman. You're an entrepreneur. Yeah, you become a businessman and you're young, though. You all right. of them are young. Man, but in when I told them, man, because <laughs> I, 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 I said, I said, man, when, when you told me your age, bro, I, I said, I never would have guessed you was that young. Yeah. Because yeah. They, they listen to old music and everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah. that, that influenced, like, the, the dope music that they yeah. make. Yeah, yeah, they're, 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 they're all filthy yeah, in their own right. Yeah, them, guys, them guys got they got some good music, got party music, mm-hmm. you know, and and it's good music though. It makes right. you it, when you leave, you leave. I don't see any guys perform. They're mm-hmm. dancing, they're doing all, they're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You feel me? Yeah, and I'm like, oh, okay, I love it. I, I, you know, I can I can respect somebody grind like that. Right. And you know. I think people need to get behind people that's like that. You I feel agree. me? Because mm-hmm. support. You just support it. Who cares about what personal feelings you got towards them as an individual or what? You just support what they got going on mm-hmm. because me, I'm a person that will want to see everybody win. Mm-hmm. So, right. you know, even if it's no if Seattle's so small, like we're all connected in so many ways, like for real. like. Everybody know the next person. Man. Mm-hmm. For real. Like, it's serious. Like, I, you know, I've been away for 20 years. Right. And I come back and people still know me. Right. <laughs> you feel me? So I can only imagine you grew up right here 
in the you know not on the outskirts of Seattle, but the actual Seattle. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna you know going to schools Everybody and all that. Business. You're gonna know yeah. who you, who's who. Yeah. And so when you're beefing with when you're beefing with somebody, and you're looking to do harm to that individual over there, next thing you know, you're affecting the whole community. Mm -hmm. You're affecting his family, probably your friend family. You this friend for now, you're giving people a choice to actually choose sides if they want to fuck with you like that or if they want to fuck with their family like that. Mm -hmm. You should never have nobody. Whatever, whatever, one, whatever you person got, if you ain't got no understanding, you got a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. Grasp the understanding and you get through life. Mm -hmm. For real. Yeah. Preacher. Okay. <laughs> for real. For real. Yeah. Looking at the camera on that one. <laughs> 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 right now. Just to tap in. I'm telling you, Sam. It's kind of like. It's kind of like the prison shit. So if you have any advice that you could give for young men and women coming up that are into this music game, this whole situation, and they, they're trying to create whatever it is, whether they're, you know, they're hip hop, whether they're R and B, whether they're country, whatever it is that they do, what would you tell them? With your experience? I would tell them never allow the world to dictate your expectations to have your own. I love that's that. Heavy. Did you have that lined up or something? That yeah. was heavy right there. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even have to think. He was like, I yeah. would tell them. Yeah. I love that's it. For real. I like that. I like because that. Because I, I think a lot of people, they lose out on their dream because other people don't believe in their dream. You feel me? So That is real. For real. That is real. For real. Mm -hmm. I, I, me personally, I... I actually, I believe I experienced it. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, people, you do something for so long, and then the person believe that you haven't conquered what you supposed to conquer in that amount of time, they lose faith in you, and they start to sabotage your, sabotage your mm -hmm. progress. And they don't do it on purpose. Right. They just lost faith and belief in you. Mm -hmm. But you don't never, you should never allow the next person's belief to dictate your belief. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. got to just push past that. Cool, no problem. I'm going to go to the goal because I got a plan. I got a blueprint. I'm sticking to the mm -hmm. blueprint. And if <coughs> you're not a part of the blueprint, then see you. Right. You know, you got to switch up the team. It is. And the funny thing about that is most people and, and a lot of times they don't do it on purpose. You know what I mean? Yeah. They just, that's whatever their idea of right. what success is to them yeah. and what it should be to them for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're going to feel whatever way they feel. But I believe that you cannot allow those kind of situations to shape who you are and what you bring to the table. Because people will turn around and they will do that. And a lot of times these people don't, they don't even believe in themselves sometimes. So of course they're not going to believe in where you're going. Yeah. They don't believe in a lot of times where they could be. You know, I always tell a motherfucker, I'll be like, check it out. Like, most of these men out here, they had 20 years of head start on me. Right. You hear me? I'm fresh. I'm fresh. I'm like a newborn baby to the world. For mm -hmm. real, for real. These dudes had 20 years of head start. If you're not a millionaire yet, you're never going to be a millionaire. Mm -hmm. right. You feel me? Because you got, you done went to all these stages and you're still stuck in the same, or you're basically, you get here and then you take a step back. Mm -hmm. and you got to gain it all again. Yeah. Instead of getting what you got so you can keep it. Mm -hmm. So with me, a lot of times it's going to take me a, lot of, a little bit longer to achieve what I want. But the way I'm going to achieve it is going to be a trail and it's going to be a permanent trail. Yeah. It ain't right. going to be nothing to fall trail. Mm -hmm. right. You feel me? That's so focus. Yeah. For yeah, sure. Yeah, real shit. And for me, I just have to, I just have to be, I just have to be thinking, I got to live on my own expectations. I don't care what the world says. Mm -hmm. right? You feel me? And if I can't stay focused like that, next you know things like this happen for me. I'm getting a lot of progress with where I'm going. Um, I'm accomplishing everything that I set out to accomplish right now, but not even that. I'm not done. I'm only at the beginning. Right. You feel me? Once I get to a level where I'm at, I'm branching off to something totally different. 
hip hop is just a platform. Mm -hmm. You know, set goals for yourself. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Achieve exactly. those goals. Yeah. 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 I always say, uh, faith without works is dead. Mm -hmm. So work, work them, plans. work them. Okay, so let's lighten it up a bit, y'all, because. This is thing that's been on my mind lately because I've been seeing it just kind of swirling around social media a bit about Mike Tyson trying to make a comeback. You know, he's 53 right now. Man, we got <laughs> <Mike Tyson. laughs> he's Boy. talking about fighting again. I don't know how true this is, but I've been I'm reading I'm, a little bit of stuff here and there about it. Listen. Him and Holyfield. Holyfield. Holyfield, 57. <laughs> Didn't he get his ear bit off already? He don't want the other one. Yeah, he, yeah. he don't he want don't the other one. He ain't trying to hear this at all. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't trying to hear this at all. You know? I would never in my life get in a ring with Mike Tyson. Dude. No. That's yeah, suicide. Even if I was a young boxer, I wouldn't. No. Like, like that man's a maniac. For real. No. And, uh -huh. he, and he don't like to lose. No. <laughs> bite your ear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, bite your ear. And he's still throwing out power blows. Yeah. You know, I saw the, the training video that yeah. this dude, man, this, this dude will punch a hole in, in something, man. I'm cool. But now, if he's fighting somebody else is, is, is a boxing too and is right. really good, you right. know what I mean? And he's and that guy's in his prime and Mike's not, you know. Mm -hmm. What you thinking? What you thinking? I saw the training video. Mike's training video? Yeah, if you get hit with one of those, mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm saying. I mean, but these are people that, that are trying to get hit. They, they, yeah, you can take some stuff. Mm -hmm. Mike, though. Mm -hmm. I saw that training video. If you get hit with one of those, you're going to feel you're that. Going down. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're going down. Yeah, you're going down. Have you seen that training video? Yeah, I did. It's going to happen. You think it's going down? You're going down if you get I'm going to have to show you after. Okay. Oh, okay, because I've seen a few different things. Uh, I saw one video with him like doing some punch moves and stuff like that outdoors. You know, I mean, he looks fit. He looks great. I mean, yeah, I ain't taking yeah, nothing no, away no, from Mike, him. Mike's I'm not gonna fight him. That's for no, sure. Mike's, Mike's, <laughs> he's punching niggas out. That's 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 it, it. He's punching people out. You're hey, Rob. Rob, what you thinking? Mike Tyson and Vander Holyfield. What's your, what's your thoughts? Well, I'm not watching that, but I'm not fucking Mike. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna watch it, but you not gonna mess with Mike. <laughs> he's like, look, I don't want to see it. Why do you not want to see it? I'm not watching that. You just feel like I'm it's not, just. I'm not. I see that already. Right. You seen it? I don't need to see that. You don't need to see it again. Mm -hmm. You saw it at the best time, huh? Yeah. I, I ain't <laughs> what, what are you thinking, Prince? I'm thinking that you're and this dude might be he needs to go ahead and sit down because <laughs> <laughs> just, just enjoy the rest of life, though. Well, you ain't got to do all that no more. People scared to death of you. Right, you man. You need to go in here and do nothing else to nobody. <laughs> <laughs> retire, bro. You stay retired. Man. Just but enjoy your life. Because, because now you gonna mess up your legacy. Because the last two times are the last. He got his ass. You got his ass. Mm -hmm. got his ass you know, real shit. You got right. it. And then you go in here. Let's say you get knocked out this time. Yeah. You feel me? Now your legacy. Not you yeah, really definitely don't want to turn around and end it all right. off yeah. clown. You know. Yeah, but don't do that, yeah. right? Leave the best, man, because everybody loved Mike. Everybody right. loved Mike. Everybody That's for sure. Mike, yeah, Mike was getting him out of there in 20 seconds. <laughs> let, yeah. it go, yeah. let it go, Mike. Let it go. But, yo, look, guys, we're about to get into our radio artist play section of the show. And you know how we do it. Before we even get into that, let me go ahead and let you guys know. Go ahead and send your music in, you guys. Make sure you send your music in so that we can play it and let everybody know what you're doing. Send your music in the urban.solutionfm at gmail.com. And so we can play it. And then you could be sitting in the chair right where Prince is at. You know what I'm saying? So sit, next, sit where a famous person is sitting right now. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Come on, tap in, send that music in so we can uh, play it and get you famous just like this man. Heck, yeah, man. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to listen. You know how we do it. We listen and then we talk about it. Right. So that's what we're going to do today. And the first person we got on the list is we got... What's this person called? Wap Don Dollar Signs. Featuring K Easy. And it's called uh hold up. Oh, K E K Easy and Jungle Boy. I'm sorry, okay. let me go ahead and add you in there, Jungle okay. Boy. And this song is called Get Some. You better get some. Let's, go. Let's get into it. She right, hella fine, I'm tryna hit her Ain't gotta be mine, but I'ma need you front 
sinner Oh yeah, you fucking with a gangsta pussy killer And you know I want someone trying to get some Say little bitch when you gon' let me hit some And you know I want someone trying to get some Say little bitch when you gon' let me hit some I'm trying to fuck little baby, so what's the deal though? Got all this dick, why the hell you need a deal though? Think I'm playing cause I'm out your league, but I'm for real though You showing them cheeks, I'm trying to beat on those drill those She want a gangsta, tired of fucking with them weirdos And it's clear she chose a real one right here though She gon' let me paint her face, ain't talking mirrors She gon' eat the D like a motherfucking chero Magic mouth, make the pipe disappear, ho She acting out fast ass, she ain't near slow She put that pussy in my face, made my beard grow Me and baby keep it lit like a disco Baby getting swerved on the shit winner I mean, she right, hella fine, I'm tryna hit her Ain't gotta be mine, but I'ma need you front and center Oh yeah, you fucking with a gangsta pussy killer And you know I'm good, so I'm tryna get some Say little bitch, when you gon' let me hit some And you know I'm good, so I'm tryna get some Say little bitch, when you gon' let me hit some be five, five, nice stars, light eyes Five, six, super thick, nice tits Big tits, double D, titty fuck Bust two times, rock from the back alley Eat it up, sexy lips, tight eyes Long hair, bow legged, tongue ring, no spits, six pack with a tat on your back, uh-huh. apple bottom, fat ass, fat cat, I like that, I yeah. That. Bite me, I'll bite you back, how you like that? You Coke like bottle that? shape, real tall, with a slight gap. White tee, wife B, Nikes, uh-huh. and you gotta stay fitted, fuck around and be my wifey. Baby getting swerved on the shit winner. I'm in the she right, hella fine, I'm tryna hit her. Ain't gotta be mine, but I'ma need you front and center. Oh yeah, you fucking with a gangsta pussy killer And you know I want someone trying to get some Say little bitch when you gon' let me hit some And you know I want someone trying to get some Say little bitch when you gon' let me hit some Baby, it's so bad, I gotta have it right now Find a private spot and I'ma lay that pipe down Make her wanna scream as I tell her quiet down Kiss her on the neck, then gently bite down The name is Jungle Boy cause I'm known to get wild Knock that pussy out like a heavyweight bow Hit it doggy style and clap like gun rounds Blowing out her back, she trying to run now Baby, I ain't done, it just begun now Lay down, open up, let's have some fun now I'ma split them legs, one up and one down I promise you, I swear, I'm in your lungs now Take away your breath, no words could come out All a nigga hear is moans and grunt sounds All up in the gut, she squinch her eyebrows She bout to bust a nut, she squeezing tight now Baby, baby getting swerved on the shit winner I'm in the shit right, hella fine, I'm trying to hit her Ain't gotta be mine, but I'ma need you front and center Oh yeah, you fucking with a gangsta pussy killer And you know I want someone trying to get some Say little bitch when you gon' let me hit some And you know I want someone trying to get some Say little bitch when you gon' let me hit some Don Dollar Signs featuring K Easy and Jungle Boy, and that song was called Get, get Some. You better get some. You get some. I liked it. I thought it was cool. I'm working, it was very dope. We're rocking with it. What you think, a person? Yeah, it was good. It was wasn't much a cup of tea. Mm-hmm. Right, right. You know, but it was it was something that you can play and say, ah, oh, I don't gotta turn this off. It ain't nothing like that. Mm-hmm. You can let it play. All right, hear that? Let's play. Let's Letting it play. Right. We are gonna let you go through the day. And yo, we got another one coming up for y'all though. We ain't done yet. But wait, there's more. Uh, the next song we got is Vietnam featuring Sinister Thighs, and the song is called Back It Up. Yeah, what's up, Nam? Chillin'. I think it's about time we show them how be more really get down in the club, you heard? Yeah, it's about I'll time. Iron Hawks, baby, what? Oh, you know how I be, certified VIP. I got my Henny in the cup, trying to slide with a freak. Come in, my, but don't talk, I don't want to know your name. Just turn around, back that sup, third, do your thing. You need to roll with me tonight, baby girl, that's my word. Don't got to worry about the bar, because the bar's reserved. Somebody holler, everybody in the club, yeah, oh, tipsy. Oh, we tipsy before we hit the club. Please get with me. Work something, work something, stop procrastinating. Pass this drink to your girl. 
girl would tell her to stop hate. She say you rap, huh? You gon' buy me ice in the car. Shorty, the only ice you get from me is ice from the bar. Now let me see you hit the flow. Bring it up slow. Put that arch in your back and let that mother go. I can't lie, mommy got me stressing the draw. Shorty started clapping that like she was giving applause. Move it up, move it back. Oh, shorty, make it clap now. Get low, hit the flow. Now bring it back. I'll ooh, 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 I like that. The way shorty bouncing it, making that thing clap. Move it up, move it back. Oh, shorty, make it clap now. Get low, hit the flow. Now bring it back. I'll ooh, 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 I like that. The way shorty bouncing it, making that thing clap. Move it back now, show me what you got They work it up in the spot, these girls dangerously hot They bouncing it to the beat, stop keeping it going Feel the vibe of the room, cause everyone's just flowing That's how I be, especially in the club with me Everyone's chilling, cause the whole club is VIP Tricks everywhere, shorties in the spot, just living it up Like good times, my soldiers, yeah, we moving on up I'm trying to get to the next pants, mommy with the spandex Puerto Rican to fly, if that in the right place And she give me the eye, plus the look Look like my plans are booked for the night Everything's alright, move it up Move it back, oh shorty, make it clap now. Get low, hit the flow. Now bring it back. I ooh, 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 I like that. The way shorty bounce and making that thing clap. Move it up, move it back, oh shorty, make it clap now. Get Let's low, go. hit the flow. Now bring it back. I ooh, 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 you know I like is. that. The way shorty yeah. bounce and making that thing clap. Side, throw it up. West side, throw them up. South side, throw it up. North side, throw them up. Everybody throw it up in the club. Let's get crunk. While we wild for the night, showing nothing but love. I like the way that she moves to the music. Move that body, don't hurt nobody. Got me drunk straight off the Bacardi. Uh. Plus, I'm in the club with your girl and she hot, fam. And I could really care less if she a rock fan. Can't stop, won't stop. Y'all need to shut that fellas. We some west side and east side. Murder land rappers. But back to these shorties. Smelling so sweet and looking good for a soldier. Make my life complete. But I'm Dance with a few, have drinks with a few, get yeah, chill with a few. Then the rest is up to you, my the one that I picked at the crowd to slide with tonight. But it's a then back it up with poppy eyes. Move it up, move it back. Oh, shorty, make it clap now. Get low with the flow. Now bring it back. I'll ooh, 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 I like that. The way shorty bounce it, make it clap. Move it up, move it back. Oh, shorty, make it clap now. Get low with the flow. Now bring it back. I'll ooh, 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 I like that. The way shorty bounce it, make it thing clap. Alright guys, like man, and we are back at, yo, Vietnam, Vietnam back in the Send building. Dice, back it up. <laughs> I'm with it. Yo, you guys, thanks for continuing to send in your music, send in more. We love to hear it. We want to talk about it. We want to play it. Right. So right. make sure you send it to, what do you send it to, Kendall, one more time? urban.solutionsfm at gmail.com send it in, send it in, send it in also you guys, you know we got those packages that we always talk about so make sure you hit us up and get one of those packages we got the $25 package, we got the $50 package, right. and you know we got that $100 package, you get all the bells and whistles, so come on in, get an interview, sit in the seat, let us talk about you, let us talk about your music let's talk about what's going on with you so make sure you guys hit us up and, and make that happen but man, we're about to wrap it up, man. It's been a great show. Man, dope interview. Dope, yeah. dope interview. Dope interview, man. A lot of insight. <laughs> I, I knew I was gonna try to get as much insight as I could into this dude. Man. For sure, man. Because once I heard, once I heard his story, I was like, what? Yeah. yeah. So, man. Again, uh, I commend you for making it through all that, brother. Most yes, man. definitely. Black man, the black man. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to thank you too for being here and just listening to your story and just man listening to your music like everything. I really appreciate you coming in and it's been a real eye opening situation for me. And heck yeah, man, come back, come back and see us. You know, it's a family affair up in this joint. Family. I'm the family man. And with that being said, you know, heck yeah, it starts with us. Yeah, it is with us. And if you want that real baby. <laughs> Listen, listen to us. us. <laughs> hey, and before we get out of here, you guys, y'all stay tuned. Hey, and one more thing. Make sure y'all you guys go ahead and pick up that single that he's gonna be dropping coming real soon. What's the name of it again? Inappropriate gentlemen. Inappropriate Y'all keep your eyes out for that. We also about to play this video from this man right now. And this video is called Fly Nigga Alerts. Right, I'm about to go outside so I can get my little buggy onto it right now, you know. Y'all check this <laughs> point out. We see y'all next time. Wednesday show. You're wrong. Nud. The beat Armada. 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 Fresh 
challenge here when I'm Seattle dreaming. Uh. Riding some clean, you know the cookie say reeking. My mind on my money, so bitch, stop reaching. Put it on the platter and let the print start feasting. Uh. No baloney, the certified is in between a hokey. Have a roly poly, swallowing holy moly. Rosie in my business, being nosy, so she owe me. Hunger uh. pains in my tummy, done turn me to monster code. Uh. I stay with an unorthodox slip and a plump chick. chick. Pull up off the dribble, call a heavyweight. Pip, pip. Serious like Jones, stay ready for the incident. Invade your home with the chrome to slap you a foreign instrument. The value honor, sort of like the US dollar. For my team, I stay running the point like Tony Parker. I clap your father in his next to kin. I write the streets illegally like a Mexican. Got a pistol in my pocket. Boy, I'm a pilot. Fly nigga alert, you can't sit in my cockpit. So fresh, big wheels, low mileage. I go so hard, I make you boys pay homage. I got a pistol in my pocket. Boy, I'm a pilot. Fly nigga alert. You can't sit in my cockpit. So fresh, big wheels, low mileage. I go so hard, I make you boys pay homage. Call this my staff, flow. We'll prepare for when the drought hit. Traffic and dough, so I hope you brought your outfit. Boy, let me borrow your bitch. And I will turn her back to cinder with her pockets on skin. In the mix, like Damu's and Rips in 86. I stay with a stick on my hip, boy, I'm the shit. Real spit, tall, slick up in the six. Hit the strip clubs and my niggas don't trip. I sell her like this. Stay up at my video. Niggas stay up at my video. Cause a nigga ain't feeling you. I swear to God, boy, I tell the truth. Put a chicken on the platter. Like it don't matter. Watch it bounce back. Pockets a bit fatter. Yeah, now I floss with a dancer. She like a nigga style in my Tony Montana. Got a pistol in my pocket. Boy, I'm a pilot. Fly nigga alert. You can't sit in my cockpit. So fresh, big wheels, low mileage. I go so hard, I make you boys pay homage. I got a pistol in my pocket. Boy, I'm a pilot. Fly nigga alert. You can't sit in my cockpit. So fresh, big wheels, low mileage. I go so hard, I make you boys pay homage. I'm ill. The rap industry calling me Infermo. Spit like a commodity. Little bite focus, nerdy like Urko. Uh, Only keep hustlers and G's off in my circle. circle. Blow that Whoopi Goldberg, bitch, that color purple. Some say I'm old school, oh, but I'm on some new shit. Two decades in the bing, so they say your boy is ruthless. Patch your pocket for profit, skin you down and leave your shoeless. Uh, now that's what I call my sound, this future movement. Uh, uh, catching more syllables than the spelling bit. Blowing two L's like who J call that infidelity. Uh, Jealousy be the cause of these dudes catching felonies. Uh, and end up in the clink and the brink for just a vanilla uh, Be about to sell uh, the game is telling me. My uh, mother D be more anticipated than an appellate brief. Uh, Fly nigga shit like Bill Bellamy. Shit. Get off in the nigga's ass like a hick direct guy. Got a pistol in my pocket. pocket. Boy, I'm a pilot. pilot. Fly nigga alert. You can't sit in my cockpit. Uh, so fresh, big wheels, low mileage. Uh, I go so hard. I make you boys pay homage. I got a pistol in my pocket. Boy, I'm a pilot. Fly nigga alert. You can't sit in my cockpit. So fresh, big wheels, low mileage. I go so hard. I make you boys pay homage.